Arcade Masterpieces, Ajax on the Arcade, game made by Konami in 1987. I know I told you I wasn't supposed to record any other part of the Arcade Masterpieces during this week, but viewers, that's your fault because you don't request anything. Or, or at least I'm already done with the request taking. Um, so, uh... Uh, that's why I decided to keep going with this series. Uh, basically, this is one of the games I mentioned when I recorded Galaxy Force 2 almost a couple of weeks ago, remember? Um, which was very advanced graphi graphically uh, speaking sorry, for the time. This was made in 87 and even back in the day, back in 87 even, uh, you were able to enjoy the first attempt of the Mode 7, which got featured mostly on the Super Nintendo. Um, you will see at least one level in which they feature this uh, Mode 7 in a very early stage, of course, very basic, but it is, technically speaking, Mode 7 as such. Uh, another company, in this case Namco, also uh, used that resource very often uh, during the late 80s and I'm going to show you a couple of their games uh, in the next episodes as I was introducing um, you know when I was recording Galaxy Force so yeah this one uh, as you can see is a very generic scrolling shooter in which you are a helicopter and basically it is more difficult that most of the shooters from the 90s for example because you have to deal with air enemies and ground enemies or sea enemies depending on where you are playing right um so yeah basically you have to be shooting missiles and shooting a uh, normal blaster or bullets whatever the fuck you want to call them getting different weapons as you can tell which well some of them are more powerful than others and more effective uh, this one has a uh, rapid fire, you just need to hold the button and all that. Uh, this is also difficult because you do not have the continuation feature as most of the shooters from the 90s, for example. Remember, continuation feature is the possibility of reviving in the very same place where you got killed. Um, instead, here we got checkpoints, uh, quite a few checkpoints during the level in that sense. It could be very generous. But still a pain in the ass to to play through. Of course, now I'm using cheats, you know, infinite lives, infinite pows or bombs or whatever, and rapid fire as well. So it's gonna be a little bit easier for you to uh, to see more levels. Otherwise, I would be dying repeatedly all the time, uh, you know, by not using those uh, special items. This level I was telling you about, in which you we see a very early stage of the mode 7 as such we are getting closer to the sea probably you are not noticing big changes uh, background wise so far but we when we get to the boss to this uh, ship big battleship you will notice this interesting feature i'm telling you about these uh, mode 7 levels are very short compared to the normal ones uh, there are a couple of these uh, levels in the game so yeah i got killed by a missile but as you could see i'm rotating and, and getting closer to the ship the effect is very similar to the one you see years later in contra 3 for example in those uh, mode 7 levels remember uh, well it's konami they're using the same resources basically um, so yeah you are getting closer to the ship you will notice i need to avoid those missiles though See, you are getting closer to the ship, and it is easier to to destroy the the core actually as you are getting closer. And yeah, basically that's the 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 big deal with this game, graphically speaking. It must have been this shit back in the day. Remember, this is from '87. Uh, so yeah, it's a uh, it was a great feature for the time, I guess. Um, I think that the other mode semi level is stage 5, I don't think we're gonna get to see that one. I mean, I could do it if I get Invincibility Cheat to work, 
but that's not what I want. I mean, I'm using other cheats to make everything easier, but I don't want to be that cheap to use invisibility cheats, to be honest. Um, speaking of these shooters, with, you know, normal shooters and missiles for killing ground or sea enemies in this case, there is a Sega game that I plan on recording completely for GameAnyone.com. Remember, I'm not, I'm not doing playthroughs for this YouTube channel anymore. I could do some playthroughs for the Naked Gaming YouTube channel, but that's those are basically ROM hacks. Um, so yeah, uh, that shooter game made by Sega, around the same time more or less, 87, 88, is called Scramble Spirits, and that's the arcade game I plan on doing this week, as I was promising in the update video. Um, since I suck so much at that game, just like this one anyway, um, I think I'm going to provide commentary in order to compensate the poor skills I'm going to be showing in that playthrough. I played a little bit of it and I died so many times even in the first level. So that's why I'm going to try to compensate with uh, the commentary thing. Uh, I'll be telling you probably for the next update video the game will be completed. I mean it takes around 20 minutes to get it beaten uh, actually. Uh, of course with infinite lives and all that. It's quite difficult, but uh, it's gonna take me one or two parts at most. Um, it's a big battleship. This level is quite long, a lot longer than even the first level. But normally these vertical um, levels, as I was uh, mentioning a few minutes ago, are a lot longer than the others. So yeah, I'll be probably... Recording this uh, other game is I'm telling you about tomorrow and get it completely uploaded by Friday or so. So if you get the chance, go to my, to my Game Anyone profile and subscribe to it if you can. And it got killed, even if I was using power all the time. Uh, but it wasn't doing that bad, I guess. I'll try to get this level finished. Uh, I don't think the next one is another mode 7 level, unfortunately. It would have been nice. Um, I'm gonna use PAL. Actually, haven't used it in a while. Ah, also, another piece of news. I just finished uh, my Crossworlds uh, playthrough. Probably many of you are already uh, watching it. Actually, I needed to record two more parts after the last update video. So that's a good thing. I'm not gonna do uh, hidden object games for a while, I want to focus on my replays, you know, the games I did in the past, uh, three years ago, or two years ago at most, you know, before I started rendering in HD and all that, or with the shitty commentary I used to have back in the day. I'm not saying the, the commentary I'm providing right now is brilliant, but it's a lot better than back in the day, especially the voice. Um, so yeah, I'll be... Resuming those replays, Game Boy games especially, long games for the most part. And it got killed because I fucking crashed into an airplane. That's not what it wanted. But it got another checkpoint, fortunately. Um, I'm getting closer to the boss, I'm sure of it. Um, I mean, I, I hope so, man. Yeah, the thing is that I'm done with King of the Games for a while. And I'm gonna resume those once I'm done with all my replays. That's gonna take a while, I guess. A year, probably longer than a year, uh, if I keep recording stuff once a week or so. I'm gonna try not to touch those rocks, just like those walls, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill me. No, they don't kill me, okay. Yeah, they're a, a bit too low for killing me, I guess. And yeah, this level is getting completely crazy in terms of length. See, I got another checkpoint right here, it's a good thing. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna start abusing using the POW, the bombs. So yeah, tomorrow I'll be recording or uploading more of those uh, games with advanced graphics for the time, uh, as I was introducing once again in um, Galaxy Force 2 gameplay video. I could be working on different themes, well in this case advanced graphics in, during late 80s, 
Uh, but I can do other specials, company-wise, or year-wise, or genre-wise, or series-wise, um, in order to make this more entertaining and, you know, have a, something to play, basically. Uh, because... Oh my god, that was gay, come on. Alright, this is my last attempt. If I don't get to the boss at least, I quit. I guess the whole point of this was to show this uh, little mode 7 attempt. Which impressed me a lot when I first played this. I mean, considering the year this game came out. I hate these missiles. V is Vulcan, I guess, and B is a bomb. But I have infinite bombs, motherfucker, so who cares? Oh, probably the bombs are referring to the missiles. Yeah, instead of missiles, I'm shooting green things. Green looking things. I guess those are the bombs. Man, that was close. Right, this is getting tedious, come on. Viberians 4. Right, this is the boss. And usually bosses can be easily defeated with bombs. So yeah, I'll go ahead and be a cheater. And there you go, that was all, see? Two or three bombs were enough. Right, that was Ajax on the arcade. Made by Konami 1987, featuring this uh, games from late 80s with very advanced graphics for the time. Mostly shooters had this characteristic. So next time, uh, or tomorrow, I'll be providing another gameplay video with probably a Namco game. One of the Namco games I mentioned in Galaxy Force. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.